Hi everyone, John Jacob Schmidt here to do a down and dirty video on how to send a flamp file because several of you have asked. Thank you all for your great feedback and your comments and helping to share the videos. This has helped a lot of people get their comms up as far as digital modes and the fast light series or suite of videos. So I have an FL Digi open right now, which is the first thing that you want to do uh, when you want to send traffic using uh, FL AMP or FL message. Now, what I did was l created a a file that I'm using just for these test purposes. So I navigate to my folders, and there it is. There's my file. So what I did was created a situation report using a custom Amron form, and I made all this up. There really is a Bonner County but this would be Bonner County Emergency Operations Center coming from the Incident Commander Smith. And uh, they are putting out a wildfire update on the containment and requesting a dozer to be delivered to a Forest Service road intersection uh, no later than 2100 or 9 p.m. this evening. So uh, you once you create this and save this you no longer need it but it is helpful if you want to uh, put this in your flamp transmit folder uh, you'll notice that your nbems files here inside your nbems where your custom forms are this is where your ics forms are remember when i said when you fill out a report it's saved in ics messages well there it is but you'll also notice in your nbems files folder there's flamp. So what you can do is copy and paste the file that you created in FL message to send out in flamp. Now I could just send this report in FL message, but I'm sending out uh, flamp because, well, because this is a demonstration video on how to send flamp. So you open up your TX or transmit folder where you've copied and pasted your uh, situation report to that you want to transmit. So there it is. So uh, we'll go ahead and now at this point, I just want to show you where, where the files are. Uh, we've already created this, saved it, properly named the file, uh, which is in the Amron Signals Operating Instructions, your date, time, group, state, your call sign, prioritized traffic, and so on. But now let's open up FLAMP. So we're going to send this in FLAMP. We don't need FL message anymore. We can go ahead and close that and open FLAMP. And of course, when it first opens, it's going to prompt you to update your call sign. Just click OK. That will go away. This will show not connected for a minute. There it is connected. Uh, that just means it's connected to this session of FL Digi. Because remember, you have to have FL Digi open first in order to send something flamp. So we're going to load the file that we want to send. So let's go to the transmit tab right here. And you don't use your file uh, navigation uh, button up here. You're going to go down to either add or drag and drop. So if you have this folder already open, you could just click on the file and drag it and drop it with your mouse buttons uh, right here in this box with the red lettering. But in this case, we're going to add a file by navigating to it, which will take you right to your MBEMS folder. This will so you could go into your ICS messages folder, or we'll, in this case, we'll go into our FLAMP folder. There's your TX folder where I copied and pasted it to, so I can go right to it. And there is our sit rep that we're going to send. Now, this is where you can add where you want it to go to. It starts off by default saying QST, which means here's traffic going out, uh, basically. So we're going to send this to uh, Bonner County. EOC, Emergency Operations Center, and the description will be uh, uh, sit rep, fire containment, darn it, and then also dozer request. I did it again. All right, right here I can see that uh, this is going to go out in nine blocks. It will take about, it's a, about a 1,020 bytes. It will take two minutes and 16 seconds to send in MFSK32. If you change this mode, it will go faster or slower 
uh, as you can see, if I have a really, really good path to somebody, I can go MFSK64, and uh, we change that to just one minute and 14 seconds. But we'll stick with MFSK32 for this demonstration. All right, I always choose compressed. The COMP is compressed. I want to send it out compressed. It, a lot of times it helps the file go out and uh, oftentimes makes the file size just a little bit smaller. And once you are loaded up and ready to go, you can go ahead and transmit. So there it is in the transmit screen of FL Digi. Barner County EOC, this is N0CALL. Of course, I'm not sending this out over radio, so this is just for demonstration purposes. And here's all the raw data, all the raw information that's being sent out that the receiving station at the Bonner County Emergency Operations Center would be seeing in his receive pane on his end. And that is how you send a FLAMP file. Super simple. Now get your comms up.